Hello everyone, I'm John. You may know me as 8mm Mauser Man. I want to remind you that I'm going to be doing a 100 subscriber giveaway of a free pocket monkey. So, if you want to be entered to win that, subscribe now. Alright, so I use Arms List pretty frequently. I use it to hunt down different 8mm sales. I use it to look for guns I want to get in the future. Any, all of that kind of stuff. You can also use it for searching prices. So when I found out about this subreddit, I knew I had to do a video on it. This is Arms List Abominations, the home of Bubba Connoisseurs Worldwide. And it is beautiful, so let's get right into it. All right, so let's keep look at this AR-15 we got here. Now, these grips, they're kind of cool if you're doing like a specialty build. I'm talking about the uh, the foregrip here. It can be cool if you're like trying to do a specialty build, but in all honesty, most people don't want them. Let's be real for a second. So $950, that's what he's asking. Not too bad. Let's Let's dive a little deeper. All right, here we have this thing. So it's a... Beretta Storm, he calls it a bastard child, which looks pretty accurate right here. It's suppressed, um, maybe that's an SBR? I don't know, I believe the Beretta, the Storm normally has like a Battlestar Galactica looking stock thing, but he cut that off and put a buffer tube on it and a scope. So, again, ridiculous, not a little too crazy. The, the big weird thing about this one is the $3,100 price tag. Let's keep on scrolling. Let's we can go a little a little crazier. All right, here we have a Gen 3 Glock. It is a custom staple job, an Apex trigger, um and then some other things, an extended mag release slide stop, and then some specialty other parts. Now, I'm sorry to say this guys. Your custom gun is not worth the sum of its parts. If you want to do this kind of thing, sell these parts individually and you'll get much more for it than if you try and sell it like this. Because personally, if I were to buy a Glock, I wouldn't want to buy a Glock like this because I would want to trick it out in my own way or do whatever. Maybe just leave it stock. But not worth it. All right, this one I saw earlier. Springfield 9mm. I'll give you a second to realize what's wrong with this. Get it yet? That's a Glock. That is a... I don't know my Glocks, and there's like a ton of them. 43, maybe? If one of you speaks Glock, go ahead and tell us. Oh, it's only been shot once, though, so maybe they realized they didn't want a Glock after they uh, shot this Glock. That's Springfield. Next up, we have this combination 300 Blackout Diamondback. First of all, it's a Diamondback. No, Diamondback isn't necessarily a bad brand, but it's not a, what was that, $1,200? A $1,400 brand. And also, they have the uh, magnifier and EOTech on backwards. Next, we have some some AR five hundred plates. Don't guys, don't get this kind of thing used. Just just look at these. Just look at these for a second. You see, they um, are sharpied on with a, like probably like a metal sharpie. We've got some toes and a dog over here. If you're taking a picture of something trying to sell it, don't do this. Do a better job. <laughs> All right, and also. Don't buy used armor. This could have been Wish.com armor. This guy's trying to pawn off for $245. Guys, don't risk the kind of thing with your life. It's not worth it. Delton AR-15 with a LPVO on backwards. Had to think about that for a second. What brand is this? Does it say? It does not say. So we have a Delton AR. Those are pretty cheap. And then I don't know exactly what kind of optic this is, but... uh. It's on backwards, buddy. It's not how that works. There's only one cure for this type of thing. Beatings. Starting at the barrel, to cut it down quite a bit, there's no front sight. Then we have this, all this stuff going on. And then the pistol grip. Now, interesting, this is the same pistol grip that's on the, uh, the foregrip and the pistol grip are the same. So as you move back a little bit, it looks like Looks like there's something on the magazine. I can't tell exactly what that is from right here. Um, then we just have the bolt. He hasn't turned down the bolt handle, which if you're already going through all this trouble, I don't know why you wouldn't turn down the bolt handle. I don't know. Uh, the Mosin has a exposed trigger. Like parts of the trigger are exposed when you have the stock removed. So he covered that up with some sort of metal here and attached to the pistol grip. And then behind that, there's this wacky stock. That looks like it would give you a terrible cheek weld. I I don't know if I would trust this stock to not fold in on me while I was shooting this thing. And also, like, 
with how light this thing is, if you've ever fired like an M44 or what's the, the M38, those cheap Mosins, you know they kick pretty hard anyway. I bet this thing would kick like a mule. And I don't know why you would do this type of thing. Guys, leave guns in their original form. All right, let's keep on going here for a second. So we have uh, nine rounds of Herder's 9mm for $85. This could be a joke. Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised either way with the ammo market the way it is right now. Oh. Q-Ace Ventura. Oh my god! Einhorn is a man! <laughs> I hate this so much on so many levels. All right, so uh, let's start... Let's start muzzle end again. Um, again, there's no front sight, which is fine, I guess, because he has the scope. Uh, then if we go down a little bit, he replaced the stock with some sort of aftermarket. It looks like a bench rest stock. Um, yeah, if I had to guess, I would say it's something that was for a bench rest type thing with the flat bottom, although there is a sling swivel on there. And then we have this scope. He also camoed over the scope. I don't know what this guy was expecting to do with this rifle. He has like a multi-cam thing on it. It's just atrocious. Was he hoping to, like, get in the woods kind of a situation? But yeah, this just makes me want to throw up. And then he has this uh, cheek riser back here on the end. And then this box of 8mm. Obviously, it's too far away for me to tell what kind, of, what kind it is, what country it's from. Ugh. All right, well, that seems like it about wraps it up for the day. Remember, you can enter to win a pocket monkey by subscribing, and then I'll do a video on that in the future once you get to 100 subscribers. All right, see you guys next week.